We are slowly getting more than halfway through our open day. There's more and more kids arriving. It's gonna get crazy. There's gonna be 80 kids by the end of the day. Um, and that is a small amount. So <laughs> mentally preparing myself. <laughs> it is week two, day one, and I am so tired. Like burned out. We had our courses for the first day today and like it was fine but I'm just really tired. My whole body just is aching to lay down. I tried to have a nap. I couldn't. So that's where I'm at. I'm gonna get ready for bed. It's literally nine o'clock. I feel like a grandma but um that's where my body is at. So it survived the evening activity and I'm actually surprised it even did at this point. So I'm just going to get ready for bed and um, go to sleep early because I am that exhausted. It's not funny. Um, but yeah, my day was good. It was just a lot to get used to. So it will be fine once I just have my body get used to it. But until then, it's going to take some work. <laughs> so we just had a gunshot. Yeah. <laughs> USA. We are in America. <laughs> I just feel like so much better already like having such a chill off day but it's just been so nice just getting out of camp the camp is so good like I love it but like sometimes you just need a break and it's really good to actually get out of the camp area on your off day Everyone's vibing today. Everyone's just relaxing. It's so nice. I've been so slack with filming, I'm being honest, guys. Like, I've barely got anything. You might get a 15-minute vlog this week, not a 25-minute one. Um, <laughs> but, like, it's just been hard to figure out when to film and when not to. Um, because sometimes I could just be filming and the content just is not great. And I don't, like, I look at it and I don't care. Like, if I can't watch my own stuff, then who else is going to, you know? Whatever I'm putting out for you guys is something that I'm really proud of or just really happy with. So I am loving that you guys are enjoying it and, like, uh, telling me that you actually want to see more. It's making my heart so happy. I have that series and at home and I haven't read it yet. And we all, like, there were seven of us and we all went through and annotated. What? This is Colleen Hoover. Annotated? I think we annotated, you know, like the highlight being like weak in the knees. And then we all, <laughs> like, so all seven of us annotated it and then gave it to our teacher as like a goodbye gift at graduation. I make stickers of myself when I'm disappointed sure. what, in what she said. Uh, I need to vlog because I don't want any spoilers. And then, yeah, oh my God. Really Sometimes I'll just cover them in white out if she disappoints me enough. But what? I, yeah, I rip out the sex scenes because I don't like the way she writes sex scenes. I did Ugly Love last year. Ugly Love was wild. I so I had mixed you, feelings. If you're no, I it's fine. I know that this is a controversial thing that I'm doing, and I accept that. But yeah, if you're yeah, after, I see TikTok people like her. I only on TikTok people like her, but yeah. she's taken over the world. She's everywhere. She Why? It's just She's everywhere because it ends with us blowed up and then people started romanticizing it. Did they just come out? They canceled the movie? No. What? Yeah. They canceled the movie? If you're after page 190, then you can you can have it. But be careful because it's a birthday present, so I need to finish it. Look, these are my, this is my sticker book of, of myself. <laughs> I didn't get to finish this at home, so I'm really excited. How did you make these? You <laughs> went the best. You know, I just worked out for you. I have been in a reading How slump since I this? left home because I, I couldn't like, finish I it. I print them out and I put double sided tape on the back and regular tape on the front. Wow. So sometimes she makes me feel like this. And <laughs> we need to. Hold on. We need to show it. <laughs> I thought that hope was. The dedication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'm highly disappointed. I roll my eyes and reach behind me, pulling on the door to ah, pulling on the door handle to my car. I've got a boyfriend. I lie. I spin around and open the door, then climb inside. When I reach to pull the door shut, I met with Jesus. This is literally. <laughs> what do I say? <laughs> Jesus is literally harassment. Yeah, he does. He's okay. He's no. I'm sorry. Ah, they canceled the movie. Oh, because of the writer's strike? Yeah. Yeah. Can we talk about how Holder is a freak for a second? They canceled the movie! <laughs> Does that make you happy? Yeah. 
Oh, why? Because the clothes are awful. The oh my are... god, I saw the clothes. <laughs> the clothes are wrong casting. Like, why? Like, Blake Lively? Okay, yeah. But, like, the guys, they just didn't work. And it just wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. And I was just like, no, you're doing everything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so relieved. What did you think of this book until the time that you got what, what you got it to? Um, I got up to the part where, spoilers, if <laughs> the, okay, so the girl. Wait, wait, I, I don't want to be spoiled. I'm only on page 200. The cat. That's all I'm going to say. Do you know about the cat? No. Okay. Maybe cat. He's a cat. I like cats. It's all a, I have to say about this book so cat, far. Uh, I'm not, okay. I actually he's know. a real freak, this guy. This is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> what is she wearing? <laughs> that is one of the and that's costumes. not that's not even the worst one. It no, and that's worse. like a good one. <laughs> like, wait, you can't be playing with me. They actually like did serious cancel the movie. That makes sense that's though, because of the writer strike too. Like they, yes. like it just gets worse from there. <laughs> but like, get cancel. <laughs> Don't cancel Juliet, or I will cancel you. Period. <laughs> okay, let's not cancel. Okay, but like, valid, right? That's not. It, it deserves what it got. It really is. What part? The writer. What part? What part were you at? Um, um, where she figures something. Wait, out. wait. So that's what I'm gonna say. Okay, no, but do you know what page number you were on? I have it on Goodreads. So. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I'm sorry. So just give it back to me because I want to work on it. Mm -hmm. Cool. So you can on it more. Yeah, be careful with it. <laughs> it's a, it's a I'll, I'll treasure it. I love treasuring books. Like, I literally, I don't even break the spines. Oh, here, you can use this as a book marker. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. I keep it in a little. I was supposed to finish it before I left, but I didn't, so now I'm going to have to mail it to her in Canada. I love that we literally read like half an hour ago and we're already so close. Yeah, of course. This is camp. This is what happens. This is what we do. This is camp life, guys. I have to tell them you mean someone half an hour ago from Israel and your know, besties? Juliet? How do you feel about calling her more personal? Um, personally, I really dislike her books. Yeah. I think that there is so much better out there. I think she blew up on TikTok and that it just really helped her out. And then everyone was kind of like, okay, she's fine. Like, she's fine. No, no, it's it's, you know what? I wouldn't even say this. I don't think it's bad. It's bad. I think it's <laughs> fine. I think it's fine. I think there's so much better out there. Have you guys read Icebreaker? Yes, but the car scene. On, on an Icebreaker? When she was playing Full Summer. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he, and yeah. This no, I, I, I <laughs> It's so good. So Icebreaker is better than anything Colleen Hoover will write. On top of that, let's, um, The Goal. Did you guys ever read The Goal? By... Yeah, all these books about hockey? <laughs> Yeah, I have a thing for hockey guys. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's purely hockey guys. Well, you're in America, so you got hockey yeah, guys all around. Here. I mean, you're American, so yeah. hockey guys in this country, like they're a thing. Yeah, hockey is great. Yeah. Are they are they cute in real life? No, never. That's disappointing. That just broke my heart. I'm having a bit of a, like a weird day today. I think my emotions are just a bit low. I mean, yesterday was really good. I have no reason to be, like, upset or anything. I, I'm not upset. I don't feel like crying. But it's just, like, my mood is a bit low. I think it's because I probably overslept yesterday or, like, slept more than I did and I'm just overtired. And then my body just feels a bit weird because of that and it's kind of, like, dragging me down. But, like, I'm sitting at the table viewing both ponds and the view is insane. Look at that. That is my view right now. I have no reason to be upset, but like, or, or down anyway. But I think it's just, I don't, I don't know what it is actually. I think it's just a bit of everything. Like, I'm starting to miss my bed, my room a little bit. Like, I don't know, just the comfortness of it all. Like, I feel fine here. Like, I, I don't want to go back because no way in hell am I doing that. But, like, I'm just starting to feel those sort of emotions. And it's not like, oh, I need to go home. It's just like, I miss it. But do I want to go? Not really. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just, like, feel a bit... 
weird today, that's all. It's almost dinner. It's like 5.30. We have dinner at 6. Um, I've been talking to like a lot of the people at camp and they also agree that it's like starting to feel like we're back at school again. And just because of all the schedules that we have, we've got classes throughout the day. We have meal times and it's just like really weird. And we're waking up at an ungodly hour every day, but you know, you get your full day's worth, that's for sure. <laughs> like, I love it. I don't want to leave, as I said, but it's just like everything's hitting me and it's fine. So I'm just having some time to myself. I went to the gym for the first time today. I have had a fear of going to the gym, like an absolute fear. I've always felt so intimidated and like self-conscious about it. I don't know, but I went today because there was no one in there. Did I know? What to do for half of the things? No. But I did the treadmill. I did some weights. That was enough. I, at least I went. I did that today and that was one of my New Year's resolutions. So hopefully I continue that. I'm so excited for cooking to start. I've been trying to find things to do this whole time. So like, I have just been trying to fill in my time whilst I'm here. So that's probably why I'm starting to feel a little bit down. I feel like I'm in high school again. Like, <laughs> I love camp. I love the vibe of it. I love the people. I've said that. I don't need to say that anymore. But, like, I feel like I'm in high school. <laughs> oh, no. So I'm mentally preparing myself for anything that's going to happen. Because anything could happen. A lot of you guys have been asking me about the drama. There's, there's not much. But it's also week two. So... That's all I'm going to say on that. It, it's a big group of people. Eventually things will happen. That's just a known thing. you just got to be fine with it and deal with it and move on. Like, that's what you have to expect. It's literally like you're at a school. Shit. I don't know what it is, but, like, something about, like, being one of two Australians here in this camp has <laughs> made me feel, like, so weird. And like just so not alone but like just by myself a little bit you know because I'm not alone I've got so many other people around me but like I am in a way by myself and like I'm also one of two people that are 18 like there's only two 18 year olds that are counsellors so I feel like a baby <laughs> and yeah everyone's like 19 20 but like it's just like Interesting. I'm looking at this view and I just think like, do I want to go back home? Not really. Like I love home. I love Australia. But like this view is just stunning. And when we were driving around like Calicoon yesterday, I was just thinking like, I'm going to be so upset when I leave. Like I was enjoying the moment, but I was like, I don't think I want to leave. Like the views that you get in America are absolutely insane but also there's parts of me that really want to leave America <laughs> because I'm bloody terrified just trying to wrap my head around it pretty much and wrap it around alone what is that crawling on me hold on okay so I am currently writing love letters for all my friends because tomorrow everyone at dinner sends them out to their tables and I just really want to have a written appreciation thing for my friends I think like it's crazy at camp because you form such quick connections and like you may not have normally gone to these types of people um, outside of camp or you may not have bonded with them outside of camp but in camp you do because you're in such close quarters all the time but um, I'm writing them down I'm writing them for literally everyone that I can think of because I just think it's nice to either, you know, have that if you're ever feeling like alone here, which you do tend to sometimes, like I was feeling it a few days ago, um, even though I had no reason to, I, I just was. So it's good to have these as like a reassuring thing and sometimes it helps you want to stay. Um, so I'm writing them down, everyone else is doing it too. It's a really good thing. I, I just love that they do it because it makes me feel good writing them. And like, it's so nice knowing that I'm going to make someone happy just by reading this. Yeah, okay. Um, we've got a little theme. Shitty hearts, you know. Slay. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to make them unique for everyone. Like, not, like, be massive paragraphs, but, like, enough to where it's like, oh, 
you know i feel like cards it's hard to put like your thoughts into words sometimes but it's been really good i've enjoyed it <laughs> um a lot of this vlog is going to be just me talking which i have realized but i'm actually quite happy about that because sometimes yeah at camp it's a little bit slow especially at the start so this is just what we're dealing with i just washed money <laughs> it was in my pocket and now i have a dollar look at this it smells clean and it's very like in a weird shape but yeah you can wash dollars everyone life lesson right there like that. it is wednesday 21 june and it is nearly changeover day for session one and i am so sad because some of these kids that i love like just leaving and i may not see them again they may not come back next year i may not come back next year and like <laughs> it's so sad because you see them every day for two weeks i'm not even living with kids yet so i can't imagine what that would be like when you're living with them but i will be next session so i'm mentally preparing myself for that also but like I don't even want to think about those kids leaving. Like, it just makes me so sad. <laughs> like, you just grow such a connection with them. You do. Like, oh no, goodbyes are the hardest and I'm gonna to have to do that a lot, but it's okay. I might be able to see them again next year if they are coming back, if I'm coming back. I love it here. I love, love, love it here.